In the Fresno, California area, two attorneys announced lawsuits on September 7th against three medical centers over alleged wrongful deaths related to COVID-19 treatments. The attorneys, representing 14 families, alleged that patients were not given informed consent about the potential dangers of taking the drug remdesivir. Remdesivir is a drug that was tested in some Ebola trials a few years back. During those tests, it killed 53.1% of all the people that it was given to. It was considered far too dangerous to be used, and it was pulled from the Ebola trial and banned. Michael Hamilton, one of the lawyers suing the medical centers, added that the WHO concluded in a study that remdesivir should never be given to COVID patients regardless of their symptoms. But in the United States, Hamilton talked about the remdesivir protocol. He alleges that it happens across the country in a similar way. Hospitals tell patients they have COVID pneumonia. They're placed on remdesivir, then isolated from their families, put in an ICU, intubated, and if they resist, they're tied down and sedated. And the average time to death for somebody in this situation is, as I understand it, about nine days. Hamilton said that hospitals charge about $3,200 for regular COVID outpatient services. But for inpatient cases, what hospitals call non-complex cases, run about $111,000. Complex inpatient cases, which the remdesivir protocol falls under, is roughly $450,000 per patient. On top of that, the government has incentivized the use of remdesivir by offering a 20% bonus if a hospital uses it as an exclusive remedy, which on a $450,000 charge rate is roughly an extra 90000 The lawsuit alleges remdesivir received emergency use authorization in or around May of 2020 after being recommended by an NIH panel that contained nine individuals with financial ties to its creator, Gilead Sciences. Daniel Watkins, another attorney also suing, alleges that the hospitals violated informed consent procedures in these cases. The lawsuits are in fact predicated on two concepts. One is medical deception and two is unconsented to medical care. You have these facilities intentionally withholding information that's critical to the decision making process for the patient. Then on top of that, we have several of our clients who, despite objecting to the use of remdesivir, were in fact administered the drug as part of the protocol. Watkins said there are three main goals from the cases. One, they want to bring awareness to the use of remdesivir so other people can go in when they have to go into the medical facilities, know what uh, what's in front of them if remdesivir is being offered, and they can see them all. They're also seeking, like I said, to stop the use of um, and then, of course, they're seeking compensation for the losses that they've experienced. The hospitals involved are the St. Agnes Medical Center, Community Regional Medical Center, and Clovis Community Medical Center. The three medical centers said they could not comment on pending litigation. Daniel Hall, NTD News, California.